Peloton Row. Let's break it down. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb. So one quick point, I know the Peloton Row is really expensive, but I don't want to influence the whole video. So this is gonna be a bit of a two-part video. First, I'm gonna review it like I don't know the price. Try to give it an honest review where I don't let the price get into my head, and then I'll circle back at the end and give you my honest take on what I think of this once you factor in the price. So make sure you stick around for that part. Now, if you're new to rowers and wondering what they're all about, I'm coming off a broken ankle where I have not done any cardio in months. What I'm saying is, I'm really out of shape. And when I started testing this, it reminded me of how great of an exercise it is. The muscles that I felt on my body, my shoulders, my arms, my back, my abs, my legs, there were so many muscles engaged, I knew I was really challenging my body from a whole body perspective. But it's not just the muscles engaged, it's the level of cardio you get from something like this. You will not question for a second that you're getting a great cardio workout, so it's sort of the best of both worlds. But this is not specific to the Peloton row, this is rowing in general. So how did the row do? If we forget about that screen right there and just focus on the rower itself, how well did they build this machine? I actually think they did a really good job. The resistance is ridiculously smooth. Sometimes you can feel a bit of a texture, not with this one very smooth. And that's not a pro or a con, that's just a personal preference, but that's what you're gonna be getting with this. Sometimes it's also little things. When you dock, it knows, it can detect that, and it can also recalibrate itself. So it has little things, little bells and whistles built into it that are very nice. It is very quiet. Rowers can get pretty loud and this one is not bad. So if you prefer quiet or you need to be quiet, you'll like this one. It also feels really well built. As you use this, you just don't feel like, oh, there's a cheap piece. I wish they wouldn't have done that. Oh, it's really plasticky here or there. It just feels like it's built to last. The screen is really nice. It's large, it fits right in front of you perfectly. The colors, the Christmas, everything about it is very nice, very enjoyable, and adds a lot to the experience. And the sound is decent. It is pointed at you, which I really like. It has good range, meaning it has bass, not just one end. It has the highs and the lows. When I really crank it up, I feel like it lacks some clarity. So if that's something you're gonna be doing, you might get an external speaker, but it does do the job and it does it decent. The seat's comfortable. I do feel like I have to reposition myself every once in a while. I don't know if it's just the way it fits me, but I feel like I'm moving it just a tiny bit. But for the most part, it glides with me really well. It fits my body. It's a rower seat. It is what it is, but I feel like it does a good job. And I also really like how you lock your feet in place. The adjusters really stay in place. They don't slide, they don't move as you're rowing. So you know you're gonna stay where you need to be. And then the Velcro straps really stick well. When I saw that, I thought, oh, they're gonna unhook, they're gonna loosen. They have actually worked really well. They're very easy to pull, adjust, tighten, put down, and get on your way. I really have enjoyed that. And considering this might be on display in your house, how does it look? Well, decide for yourself. Rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that in slow motion, yeah, I feel like an astronaut. And if you're thinking, boy, that thing is large, well, it does store vertically with their wall mount system. So we have a pretty nice rower, but what really matters is how well did they put the Peloton Magic on a rowing experience. Let's cover that. User interface is just like the Peloton bike. Jump right in, easy to use, easy to learn, easy to find what you want, works very well, fast, crisp, all those things you're gonna want from a user interface, no problems at all. One of the most important factors with deciding if the Peloton Row is right for you or not is if you like their content structure. They are instructor-led. There are also gamification models, which I tend to prefer these days. But instructor-led means on the other side of that screen, there is instructor. They're guiding you, they're motivating you, they're teaching you. It's that more I'm talking to you experience and Peloton has done a great job bringing that Peloton flair, that Peloton experience into a row environment. So if that is the type of content you like, you're gonna be pleased with this. Now I will say, as of right now, being early on this being a new product, there are only five instructors. So not quite the variety you know with like the Peloton bike where you have just so many people to pick from and find the person that you relate to, but I imagine that will improve over time. Something that's always separated Peloton from everyone else is the bells and whistles. It's not just you and the content. There are all sorts of little things all over the screen, post ride, things that pull you in and make you wanna do more and just add to the overall experience. And they've done a good job doing that with the row as well. And the first thing is, of course, they have their leaderboard. So on the right, you're gonna see everybody else that's competing, whether it's currently in the ride or have done it previously or your friends, you're gonna be able to compete with them, push for them, try to get ahead of other people, all those little things that motivate you to do more. They also have all that on-screen data, pace, output, stroke rate, distance, strokes, calories burned, total output, personal best, current targets, heart rate, and more. There is no shortage of information on that screen for you to use however you want. 
Another feature is form assist, which I thought was gonna be silly. But when you think about it, if you get an exercise bike, you basically get on and ride. There's a little bit of learning, but not a lot. But with rowing, there is a technique. So to have a feature on screen that helps you out is actually really nice. But more so, what I really appreciated was the post-ride feedback. They break it down by category of those technique or stages of rowing and help you see how you did, where you can improve, and give you some feedback. So I like that they're teaching you how to row and how to get better. Some other things worth noting is that it does have scenic rides. I don't think they have any instructor led right now, but it does move as you row, so it's kind of nice. You can see something nice if you want to change up what you're doing. The post row screen has loads of information, which I really appreciate. They have programs, challenges, and these are things that motivate you, but also help them set up the structure if you want them to kind of build something out for you. So to summarize, I think this is a very nice rower, and if you love the way Peloton does things, you're probably going to very much enjoy this. But now let's talk about once you factor in the money. So let's set the stage here real quick. As of this specific moment, the listed prices for the top connected fitness rowers are Peloton 3,195, Avron for the Impact Model 1,899, and the Strong Series 2,199, Ergata 2,499, Hydro 2,495, and the Hydro Wave 1,895. And that's a pretty big premium to get the Peloton row. And for me, that means they have to completely stand out and give us a reason to pick them over their competitors. And I just don't know if I see that reason. And I am not saying it's a bad rower. I'm just saying I'm not sure it's worth that premium over the other models. So for me, this breaks down into two categories. Reasons you should still consider the Peloton row if you're gonna buy one, and reasons you shouldn't. Let's start with should. First, you love everything about the Peloton row. When you see the content I'm covering, the experience you're gonna get, how well it's gonna motivate you, that is the model that you really gravitate towards. You think you're really gonna love it and take advantage of it, then get it. That might sound obvious, but so often we see the price of another model and we kind of sit back and go, fine, I'll settle for this other one. And when we do that, we're still spending a ton of money for even the other option. And then you have that regret. Every time you sit down to use that other model, you kind of go, wow, what could have been a... And you're already resenting the model you did buy that you did put a ton of money into. Well, then this is obviously the model for you and you probably shouldn't talk yourself out of it unless the other models are just still really close and you think you'll thoroughly enjoy them as well. And second is you might build out a home gym. There is a huge difference between I want to get one item so I have a thing to work on my health and get some exercise in and over time I might build a home gym because these things have a subscription and if you get different products, say you get three different things and each have their own subscription price, you're going to be spending a fortune just to use those every month. So if you think you might build out a cool Peloton gym, you're still just under one monthly membership fee and you get to use a lot of stuff, have a cool experience, have a lot of different options without spending a fortune to keep them all active. And it is definitely something to consider, so you kinda gotta think of the long game here. Now, if those items don't apply to you and you sit back and you look at it and go, wow, the Peloton row is $800 more than some of the other models, I would strongly consider looking at those other models. And the first question I would ask myself is how am I motivated? Do I still like the instructor-led environment of the Peloton, but I don't necessarily wanna spend that much? Well, then you have options like Hydro and Hydro Wave, which do come at much better price points. And I actually think I'm gonna create a video comparing the three of those, so comment down below if you'd like to see that. But if that's not really a big factor to you, instructor-led guidance isn't really what pulls you in, then you may wanna consider gamification. Ergata and Avron have amazing platforms that make the whole exercise experience gamified. It makes it fun, motivational, and you just kind of want to work out if that applies to you. So you've got to decide which route is better for you. I won't go into any more details on this video because I have full breakouts and reviews on all these different products. I'll link everything down below. But that is the first question I would ask myself. So you can pick an option that's best going to motivate you and having you want to keep using it. There are some great options out there. I'll try to do comparisons. Let me know what you would like to see, and I'll try to create that. But if you don't mind, please consider subscribing, liking, you know the deal. Thank you very much. And until next time, here's to a healthier you, and have a good one.